Welcome to another today's fun project. Today I've got an 87 Ford Ranger here. I get to go in it, uh, get in it today and start it. It's got the 2.3 liter four cylinder. Push the clutch in, turn the uh, ignition on, crank, no start. So it's definitely cranking. Um, we either got a spark issue or a fuel issue. So I've got my helper Ryan in the truck right now. What I'm going to do is bring you guys along here. I figure no better time to film than right now. We'll diagnose this thing. Uh, I'll, get your cam I'll get the camera up under the truck. We'll listen for the fuel pump. If we don't hear the fuel pump, um, we'll, we'll get to the next step and, and take it from there. So let's get over here. All right, there he is. You ready, Ryan? All right. How you doing today? Good. Oh, good. Oh, you look serious. All right. Are you ready, serious guy? Yeah. We'll get this fixed. All right. Let's get under the truck. We're under here. Uh, Ryan, just turn the ignition on. Is it on? Yep. Okay, let me know so I know. Okay, turn it off. I'm listening. I don't hear anything. Go ahead. Uh, on. Okay, we definitely don't hear the fuel pump. So, next step, I think what I'll do is I'll... Um, this has two fuel pumps. It has a high pressure up here, and then the main fuel pump is in the tank. So what I'll do here at the high pressure pump, I'll disconnect the connector. It's a two pin and we'll test for grounds and powers right there. Let's just start right there and see what's what. Um, yeah, we don't need to run down to advanced auto and start buying parts just yet. So let's check it out. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, so we're gonna push through this, but um, Ryan's inside, it's, the truck's in neutral? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have him uh, try to start it. Go ahead and crank on it, you know, to make sure it starts. Don't let it off right away. And uh, go ahead. Oops. Go ahead, try starting it. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so. Turn the key I'm on. I'm going to uh, disconnect the intake tube here and spray some starting fluid in there. And if it wants to start, then uh, we definitely know it's fuel and not spark. So let me loosen this up. Is the key off? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, one second. I'm going to spray this in here. You're going to try to start. It should, it should attempt to start. Okay. That's good enough. All right, try it now. Go ahead. Okay, try it again. Okay, it's dead. All right, it's starting to rain a little heavier. So we definitely have a fuel problem. Let's uh, hope the rain passes here in a minute and we'll get filming so again. I'm under the truck and I disconnected the harness for the high pressure pump, which is a pump up front here towards the cab. Um, this side goes to the harness, the wiring harness. This side here with the uh, black connector is actually to the pump. So we could put... Um, jump 12 volts here and uh, see if that pump turns on but what I want to do is right now my test light is hooked to um, battery positive so I'm going to the key off or on it's off, it's off? okay so I'm going to touch this terminal here on the, there's two terminals in here um, so we have a good ground and now we know this side is positive so what I'll do is um, switch my leads over to battery negative and I'll hold it on this terminal here on the right and we'll have Ryan turn the key and see if that uh, glows for us so hold on one second so I'm hooked to uh, battery negative now and um, as you can see the one on the left now won't glow won't make the test light glow and this one on the right should when he turns that key should at least get like the two second prime deal so go ahead key on is it on yes. say on Okay, turn it off. Let me try it again. Okay. Key on. Okay, so we have nothing here. So, right now I'm not worried about the pump. Um, let's go up top. Let's go to the fuel pump relay and see what's going on there. I'm going to hook this back together while I'm here. And we'll see what's up. All right, we're still getting some sprinkles, but I'm gonna carry on. We're going right over here to the fuel pump relay, which is located under this cover. So I pull that out. We'll yank this out here. 
Um, let me get a, uh, here's the pump, or the pump, the relays right here. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So it's usually on these older Ford trucks, they're green in color. There's a tan, I think that's the ECC, EEC relay, um, electronic engine control relay over here, and then your fuel pumps, the green one here. Let me get a number seven. Keys off, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, so I got a number uh, seven socket here, seven millimeter. Take this screw out. And we've got the relays right here. So there's a little clip, a little tab here. You gotta bend that back. And then I could disconnect it, which I, I'm trying here. There we go. Okay, so here's the here's the relay. It's a standard relay, it's a four pin, one, two, three, four there. And what we'll do is, let's check the, well, let's get my test light. I've got my test light. I'm hooked to um, battery negative right now. And we've got the four terminals. I don't, I don't think you can see it. Let me, let me zoom in a little better. Since we don't have power down there at the fuel pump, the first thing I want to do is check the load side of the circuit here. So I'm at the connector. You know, we, we pop the relay out. And I'm hooked to battery positive right now. So the two thicker terminals, I have no idea if you guys can see this. You'll have to trust me on it. I'm touching them, um, nothing. So I don't have any ground. And the key is on? No. Okay, turn the key to it on. Okay. Yeah, I have nothing here. Keep it on. Nothing on. Let me switch over to battery negative, which will let us know if we have a hot feed in here. So we do. So, okay. So here's our hot, and over here we have nothing. We do have that, and we do on the control side. So go ahead and shut the ignition off. Okay, good. So we have control there. Turn that on. Okay, good. Let me switch to battery positive. Is it, turn it off? Okay, so now I'm on battery positive. I'm on the control side here. I've got that dim light. I don't know if you can see it, but it is lit. Turn it on. Okay, just got brighter and went out. Okay, turn it off. Turn it on. Good, we have control here. Okay, um, let me go to the other control side here. Turn it off. And we're lit. Turn it on. And it went off. Okay, so it went. It, uh, it pulled it. it. It's doing its thing. All right, so we have control, but we don't have a ground to the load side. So let's go to the wiring diagram. All right, so looking at the wiring diagram, here's the fuel pump relay. We had good control there. This is our ground and our um, powers. So we're good there. That goes off to that way. So on the load side is where we're having a problem. So we have the hot coming in, which we're supposed to have, but we don't seem to be getting anything on the other side of that. So the only thing between that and the, here's the inertia switch, which is next, and then you have the fuel pump. So we checked at the fuel pump earlier. You saw we had good ground. We're missing the powers here. So somewhere in here is our issue. So hopefully we don't have a wire problem you know like a broken wire or something but what we need to do is go to this inertia switch which is normally it says uh, inertia switch opens on impact so it would open in, in a case of an accident a rollover basically it just it disconnects cuts off the power which won't allow the electric um, it won't allow the fuel pump motor to keep running so if it's a turnover or I believe it's a hard impact there's like a little rattle ball thing in there and you can reset them. But anyway, we need to go to the inertia switch to see if we're getting our powers in over there and if we got power coming out. So let's go, uh, let's go do that next. All right, how's it going in there? You doing all right? Good. Yeah. Got your iPod or your phone going yeah, there? Yeah, my iPhone. Good, all right, cool. All right, so let's, uh, we're on the passenger side. Let's come down here and uh, peel this carpet back. And you can see, there's a wire right here. So we've got a orange with the, it looks like a gray tracer and a 
pink or peach with the black trace. Anyhow, going up here to the uh, inertia switch, and you can see there's a, there's a little button on top, so um, you can reset those, but let me take it off so we can get a better look at it, and of course my battery's about to die. Let me good charge that. Oh, and if you notice the flickering, um, that's just my expensive little Astro 40 SL uh, work light that's, I guess, going out on the fritz at about a year old, so that's just great. Yeah, it fell. It's okay. You want to stand it up for me? Thanks. I'm trying to get this on. I'm done here with one hand. All right, I think I got the other screw out. So it's just held in with two seven millimeter screws. Let's get this sucker out. All right, that's good. Yeah, you can leave the light there, thanks. All right, so here's what we got. So this is the inertia switch. And you can hear it's like a, a ball in there. This is how they would reset. So if this thing hits hard, this, this white button should pop out. Let me see, see how it just popped up and you can hear that ball rattle? Well, to reset them in an accident or flip or whatever you would reset this so what we need to do now is I'm gonna unplug this and let's check this uh, this power feed here let's unplug this sucker it's just one little clip and it's out it's a two wire all right so how should we test this let's get the old uh, test light on it what do you say so right now I'm hooked to battery positive and Oop, I don't think you can see that, but I am lighting up on that pink and black. And of course, this side is nothing. This, all this is is basically a switch. This is just a jumper. So we have power here now. Um, let me jump this right now, and then let's go back. I do have the relay plugged in. By the way, I did check the relay off camera. Um, put 12 volts to it. it. It was clicking, and I did a continuity test on the control side. It worked fine. So now I've got this jumped. I just shoved a piece of, you know, wire in there. Let's go back up and check out the uh, connector and see if we have a, uh, see if we got continuity. All right, so we're back up here. relays out um, on the load side this was the hot one it was hot before this feed here and now we've got power there do you see that I don't know if you can see it with that jumper in so we now have uh, power and ground basically because this is ground so that's what we were looking for so we've got ground here, and we're good to go. So I'm hooked to battery positive, and got the test light hooked to battery positive. And I got the jumper in here, as you can see. We'll touch that. Key is on, yes. and we have power on both sides. Not power, but we have power flowing, I should say, on both sides, right? So we're all set there. Turn that key off for a second. Power does stay on. So it is hot at all times. So now that we've got that inertia switch bypassed, I'm gonna come back down here and I'm hooked to battery. My test light is hooked to battery negative now. So Ryan, when you turn that switch on, this light down here should glow, um, at least for a two second. Go ahead and turn the uh, ignition on. Great, okay, turn it off, on. Awesome. So we've now we've got our powers here. So we had our grant. We tested that ground earlier. That was good. The one the terminal here on the left, and now we've got um, power here. So I'll plug this into the fuel pump connector here, and then uh, let's see. Get that in there like that. I'm gonna put some tape on there. It seems like the clip is broken, and I'll put that back up under here. Let me just show you where that high pressure pump is. Hopefully it won't be too shaky, but it's right up. Oh, let's see here. Lives right up in this area here, right behind this plate. So you see that rusty plate? 
and you can see the connector going up there and over and in that's where it lives we've got two connectors on the inertia switch here's a button up top and I've got my multimeter set in the back to ohms if I touch these together we have continuity you can see that goes to almost pretty much zero and you know 0 0.3 what I'll do now is, doesn't matter which contact you connect these to, positive, negative, doesn't matter. And you can see there's resistance. This button's pushed down. If I shake it around, can they see this? Yep. All right, I'm going to tap it. Earlier, okay, you see it now? It went open. That means power would not flow to the fuel system, to the uh, fuel, but it just came back on by itself. So that means power is not feeding through here to the fuel pumps, the primary and the high pressure. 140, 150, if I shake it, I've seen it now, it's down to 100. See, it's all over the place. So I'm thinking that there's an issue with this. Now it's open, and I so if in other words, if we're going over bumps and stuff, and this thing's getting knocked around, it's not going to work. Now it's back to work, so you can see what's going on there. Okay, so we'll get a new inertia switch. We've got it bypassed for now. So I want to show you how the inertia switch should work properly. Um, in the uh, previous clip, I showed you the resistance we were getting the thing was bouncing all over the place so right now this is closed the button white buttons down we're hooked there two leads are hooked from the ohm meter we've got uh, full continuity here like it should be and now when this thing gets bumped we should lose continuity it should go open so this should go to one and this white button should pop up so I'm gonna smack this thing like if it was in an accident or it was uh, you know a rollover there it just popped open okay that went to one, you saw that. There's that little button popped open. We're still connected. And when I push this down, we should go back again. So when it's working normally, that's how it goes. So that's how you want your inertia switch to work. And I believe what was happening was, um, before this was getting bounced around and jiggled, there must have been some type of corrosion in here and it was causing that resistance. So you saw on the meter, it was bouncing all over the place. Well, that's not good because that was cutting off our uh, circuit to the fuel pump. So basically that's why we had a no start even though this button was already down. So I don't know if I showed that in the video, but when we first went to it, this was down. It wasn't popped open and um, it was an internal thing. And this is completely sealed up. There's really no way to get in here. It's I guess plastic welded along here. There's a seam, and uh, not ser unserviceable, non-serviceable. There's a part number if anybody's looking for something. We got everything back together now, right? Yeah. We've got the uh, jumper in there. You're, you're happy. Look how happy you are. Because when he he's happy because now he can go. He can. He's yeah, free can, to go, right? Yeah. You I earned yourself away. an. You earned yourself an ice cream on this one here. All right, so the pump's hooked back up. It may take a second to prime, but uh, go ahead, push the clutch in. Is it a neutral? Put it in neutral. Yeah, it's a neutral. All right, push the clutch in. Uh, crank until it starts, and it should start here. So go ahead and let it run. There we go. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, it's making a little weird noise there. I don't know, but it's running. What's that? Oh, you were turning the steering wheel. It was him. Oh, he's messing with me with the power steering pump. Go figure. All right. Well, that's good. You got to have good health these days. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope that helped you out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow, like, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. What do you say, Ryan? Subscribe. What do you say? Subscribe, like, and share. Oh, I thought you were going to say take it easy. Oh, I didn't think so. Oh, all right. Shut it down. Ha, ha, ha.